Lord Jesus, we are here in front of you. You are calling us to step aside from our many daily tasks and spend time with you in prayer. Prayer, we know, is a gift, is a grace, is not something that we can make ourselves unless you grant us this grace. So please send your Holy Spirit upon us. We are gathering here in front of you from every corner of the earth. Together, we bow down before you. We adore you. We acknowledge you are present here with your body, soul and divinity. And we thank you for this great amazing grace you are giving us right now. Your name is the only name in which we can find salvation. Today we want to meditate on your holy name. Your name means salvation, means God saves. And we want to learn from Bible characters, those people who have, have met you when you were walking along the dusty paths of Palestine. Especially we want to recall the words of the leper, the words of the blind, Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. We know that in this holy name we find peace, we find our truth, we find our identity. Even in the Catechism of the Catholic Church we learn about your holy name at number 2666 we read the one name that contains everything is the one that the son of god received in his incarnation jesus the divine name may not be spoken by human lips but by assuming our humanity the word of god hands it over to us and we can invoke it. Jesus, Yahweh saves. The name Jesus contains all, God and man, and the whole economy of creation and salvation. To pray Jesus is to invoke him and to call him within us. His name is the only one that contains the presence it signifies. Jesus is the risen Lord, and whoever invokes the name of Jesus is welcoming the Son of God who loved him and who gave himself up for him. So we are here in front of you, Lord Jesus, and we simply, humbly repeat your name. We invoke your name to become more aware of your presence. We follow the great tradition of the Church 
in the West and in the East, the Church that has developed a holy spiritual tradition on invoking your name. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on us. Have mercy on the whole world. Take pity on me. Save my life, save my journey. Save the humanity that you love so much and for whom you surrendered to the Father and you gave yourself up into our hands. Lord Jesus, Christ Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on us. I invite you now to take some few moments of silence in which we repeat this invocation. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on us. To support our silent prayer of adoration, we also nourish our minds and our souls with the true teaching of the Holy Church. Again, from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 2667, and I quote, this simple invocation of faith developed in the tradition of prayer and uh, many forms in East and West. The most usual formulation transmitted by the spiritual writers of Sinai, Syria and Mount Athos is the invocation, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us sinners. This invocation combines the Christological hymn of Philippians 2, 6-11 with the cry of the publican and the blind man begging for light. By it, the heart is opened to human wretched, wretchedness and the Saviour's mercy. Yes, Lord, we follow the teaching of your spouse, the Church, that invites us to come to you as we are. No one is worthy to stand in your presence. We are so small, so unworthy, so sinners, but you gave up your life for us. Help us to join the company of all the saints in heaven, starting from the Blessed Virgin Mary, who have invoked your holy name and they have and they have found peace joy fulfillment by invoking your holy name o lord we want especially to join all those who have found enlightenment 
and holiness throughout the ages. We call to mind especially the Eastern tradition in which the invocation of your holy name has become a true spiritual path, the so-called hesychasm. We can even associate this invocation with the rhythm of our breath. When we inspire the air at every breath, we say, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. And when we pour out the breath, we say, have mercy on us sinners. It is not a technique. It is just a simple way to help us to recall our uh, distracted minds in your presence. Lord, you know how many thoughts are now dwelling in our minds and hearts. We have worries, we have pains, we have preoccupations, we do have also joys, hopes, but sometimes all this becomes an obstacle because we are completely filled with these thoughts and we we cannot even realize that we are here with you, adoring you, you are with us. So Lord, by enabling us to pronounce your holy name, help us to transfigure all these thoughts so that they will become indeed our offering to you. And we may enjoy your presence right now. Let us take again some few moments of silent adoration in which we invoke the holy name of Jesus by associating it with our breath. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us sinners. As we invoke your holy name, we pray together with a specific intention now. We want to entrust to you, Lord, all those you are calling to serve you in a way of special consecration to you. We know all paths of life are holy. And therefore, we pray that each individual may find his or her peace and fulfillment in following your call. Today, we want to pray especially for those you are calling to follow you in the religious life, in the priestly consecration, in a life fully entrusted, surrendered to you for the service of the Church, for the good of humanity. We want to recall right now the very moment when you pronounced the names of the apostles, when you called them, them by name. 
and in being called by name, they found the power of your presence. Yes, Lord, each one of us is precious in your eyes. And we are now praying intensely for all those whom you are calling, all those to whom you are offering your special call to follow you more closely, to become priests of God. As Pope Francis keeps repeating us, being priests is not having a profession, is not equal to exercising any worldly profession. It is something more. It has to do with the intimate call to follow you to let you make use of us for your glory. Unless we feel continuously you calling us by name, we are not able to be your ministers. But we trust in you we invoke your Holy Spirit on those who are feeling that you are calling them, but perhaps they don't have enough light to take a life decision. Please, Lord, send your Holy Spirit upon them to free their hearts from fear. We want to invoke your name especially for all of them. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Jesus, full of benevolence. Jesus, Savior, full of compassion. Jesus, love without end. Keep me in your special care. Purify me from my sin. Jesus, you are the only shepherd of my soul. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Jesus, infinite tenderness. Jesus, my Savior, save me. My light, enlighten me. My hope, become my sole hope. Jesus, fullness of my joy. Jesus, my shepherd. Jesus, consolation of those who are in sorrow. Jesus, in your compassion, heal me. Jesus, enlighten my thoughts and my heart. Touch me, transform me, heal me, so that I may walk in your ways and answer your call. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You who continue to call your disciples and you call them first and foremost to stay with you, to be united with you, with the unbreakable bond of intimacy. Have mercy on us. Free us so that we may be able to answer your call. We pray especially for those young men and women who are taking a life decision help them to discern their vocation help them to become true worshippers of your holy name that they may find peace that they may become your instruments to make your name known Lord Jesus Christ, we adore you present here. You have become the bread of life. You continue to call us to come to you. Pour out your spirit on this troubled world. Enlighten our minds and hearts that they may become the temple of your presence. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us sinners. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Purify our minds and our hearts, and we will glorify you. Purify our lips that we may pronounce your holy name. In your name there is peace. In your name we find consolation. In your name eternal hope. Have mercy on us, pour out your spirit on us, heal our broken lives, we trust in your holy name. Lord Jesus, as we are gathered here in front of you, we want to ask you to bless us. You are the source, the fount of all blessings. And now we receive your blessing as a pure gift of love and mercy and forgiveness. You are the one now blessing us, pouring out your eternal life on us. And in silence we receive your powerful blessing that will bring to our lives new hope, new strength, new vision. And now Lord, allow us to receive your blessing as we Make the sign of the cross on our bodies to consecrate to you our minds, our will and our strength. 